Welcome back to some more Bolton Manager Mode. Here he is, the man, Starvin Marvin Sordell. He's in demand, but no one really wants to pay for what he's worth. He's worth 7 million. Everyone gives me 6 million, 6.5 million. So what we're trying to do is renegotiate his contract. Give him a contract extension. He had said no at first. Now let's see if he accepts and signs, re-signs with us. So we're actually going to sim past this Blackpool league game. I think the negotiations are a little bit more important right now. And we pick up a draw. Unfortunately, I was looking for a victory, but we pick up a draw. I guess it's not too bad. So here we go. We made a couple of inquiries. We are going to need a goalkeeper like you guys remember from the last episode. Bogdan wants out. So 7 million for Ochoa. For, for Zayler, it, it's uh, 10.5 million. 3.5 million for Keylor Navas. Those are the three goalkeepers that we're really interested in. So the, the board comes and talks to me and says, we're going to have to let go of Adam Bogdan. It's going to happen. Please make this happen. So I understand that they want me to let him go. It's, it's bad for the team to keep him here. So a great offer arises from Lazio. It's a great opportunity for him. It's a, it's a good amount of cash. You know, he's worth 3 million. They're giving me 4.1. I probably could have gotten a little bit more. But I just didn't want to deal with the whole, oh, he's not worth this much. So 4.1, fine. You gave me 1.1 more than what he's actually worth according to the market. So, all right. So I didn't know who to choose, man. I didn't know who to offer for. It was between Ochoa and Nava. Zayler was, was way too expensive for, for Bolton. We don't have that much money, guys. We do not have that much money to deal with. We have like 4 point something million. I'm offering for Ochoa right here 4.5. And you can see we only have 239,000, now 139,000 because I put 4.6 after all. So we have very little money to deal with. Ochoa is in the middle between Zayler and Keylor Navas. Keylor Navas surely is the cheapest one. I'm offering 3 million for Keylor Navas. Both, both Ochoa and Navas, no, I think Ochoa is 29, Navas is 28, Zayler is 25. So Zayler, I guess that's why he's more expensive. He's a little bit younger, but they all have similar stats. And then great news, man. Starvin Marvin Sordell says, I've decided to stay at the club. Amazing news, big news, like he says himself. Marvin Sordell is going to be staying with us here at Bolton. I'm psyched. So, so happy to be keeping Starvin Marvin Sordell with us. But unfortunately, Adam Bogdan, aka Canelo Alvarez, is leaving us $4.1 million to Lazio and 3.5 allocated to our transfer budget. So here it is, Ahashio accepts the offer for Ochoa, $4.6 million. Levante accepts it for Keylor Navas, $3 million. So Ochoa is $1.6 million more expensive. And we have a dilemma here. Ochoa also wins higher wages, like 25,000 more per week in wages. And th this was the dilemma. I didn't know who to choose, but you know, I, I thought about it and I thought about it and the smart choice was Keylor Navas, for sure. Keylor Navas, they have very similar stats. Ochoa is one year older and he's also more expensive. He wins a lot more in wages, $25,000 more a week. The smart choice was Keylor Navas. But not a lot of people, you know, said get Keylor Navas. More people said get Ochoa, get Ochoa. And I said, man, why not? You know, I mean, FIFA 15 is right around the corner. We're not going to be playing FIFA 14 much longer. I know the smart choice is Keylor Navas, but more people ask for Ochoa. Why not give them what they want? Why not just, you know, just go for it. You know, just go for it. FIFA 15 is right around the corner. We're not going to be playing this game for a lot longer. You know, I know the smart choice was probably Keylor Navas because he's cheaper and, and they're pretty much identical in stats. You know, Ochoa has something in his favor. Keylor has something in his favor. Anyways, we signed Ochoa. Ochoa is going to be our goalkeeper here at Bolton. 38000 is the wage for Leon Goretzka. We're going to sign this center midfielder. He can play CDM, Cam, right mid, left mid. I love that in a player. He's coming from Schalke, 19 years young, and he has a lot of potential. He's already a 72 overall as a 19-year-old. This kid has has some promise. So right here, we're playing this uh, Capital One, no, FA Cup game, I'm sorry, against Stoke City. Frank Guarizala's debut, Ochoa's debut, as you saw in the starting lineup. I'm only going to show you guys the goals. Brizuela goes to Arizala, the man with the debut. Arizala with his weak foot. Arizala scores in the 20th minute of his debut game in the FA Cup, man. I was hyped. So Frank Guarizala. I'm not, I didn't buy him. I know he's a right winger, but he could also play striker. I'm, I'm going to use him like I did at Club Leon before I came to Bolton as a striker. This man 
was a beast for me. I feel very comfortable playing with him. Right here, Starvin Marvin Sordell just graces the ball, just, just barely taps it. It goes through the keeper's legs. 2-0 in the 59th minute right here in the FA Cup against Stoke City, man. Look at it. Star and Marvin Sordell just plays with the keeper's mind. It goes straight through his legs and nutmeg. And it falls into the back of the net. So, we take a 2-0 lead. Like I said, I'm only going to show you guys the goals. But I was hyped that Ochoa was having a great game. He, would ha he had a clean sheet to the damn stupid 89th minute. We had to make a defensive error. We were concentrated the entire game. Ochoa was playing great the entire game. He had a couple of decent saves. The game didn't really... You know, Stoke City didn't really propose all that much. You'll see in the end of the match stats. Really, three shots and two on target. And one of those was a goal. So, unfortunately, we gave up a goal. I wish he, he kept his clean sheet. But Frank Guarizala scored, so I felt great about that in his debut. I, I, I'm still going to start Alan Pulido and star and Marvin Sordell up front. My two strikers right here. Leon Goretzka accepts the, the contract offer. So, we happily, happily, with, with arms wide open, accepting him here in Bolton. Like I said, a 19-year-old center midfielder from Schalke. He could play right mid, left mid, cam, CD, CDM. So this kid has a lot of versatility. I love that in a player. And yeah, the final dwindling hours of the transfer deadline day. The, the transfer window is about to close. But first, we get a transfer or a loan deal, a, a loan offer for, for this 18-year-old striker, 65 overall, Neo Malpay. We're not going to be using him. We have enough strikers to get us through the throughout the rest of the season. We'll be happily lending him out. Or loaning him out to, to Warsaw. So anyways, four hours left. More stuff coming in. Marvin Sordell gets a transfer offer. And it's an insane transfer offer. 12 million. Now Everton really wants him. Now they're willing to pay more than actually more than what he's actually worth. But I didn't analyze it. And I wanted to let him go. But this offer should have came earlier. Th these two offers, now another one for 10.5 from Real Sociedad, they should have came earlier. If I was to le let them go with four hours left, I wouldn't be able to pick up a striker and sign a quality striker for my team, for Bolton. And we would be left w without a, a lethal striker like Marvin Sordell for, uh, throughout the rest of the season. So, that's it. That's all that, that, that it, there is to it. Here is the final squad. T transfer deadline day is over. This is a squad we'll be rolling with. Goretzka at center attacking mid. Sordell Pulido up front. Ochoa in the goalkeeper spot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Likes are definitely, definitely appreciated. Let me know what you guys think of the team. We signed three new players. Let some go. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, bros. And as always, take care.